Hi friends, how are you? I hope this finds you well. We had some technical difficulties with our, our previous recording, so we're doing it again for those folks that couldn't tune in live uh, with our Zoom call. So we like to start all our meetings uh, here at Knitted Wit and Shanna Jean stuff with our um, statement of acknowledgements. So we acknowledge the land we live on. Re uh, I'm gonna try that again. We acknowledge the land on which we reside in the Portland metro area rests on traditional village sites of the Multnomah, Wasco, Cowlitz, Kathlamet, Clackamas, Bands of Chinook, Tualatin, Kalapuya, Malala, and many other tribes who made their homes along the Columbia River, creating communities and summer encampments to harvest and use the plentiful natural resources of this area. And we take this opportunity to thank the original caretakers of this land. We recognize that the following statements are true and important and uh, to repeat frequently. Black lives matter, trans rights are human rights, science is real, disabilities are respected, people and planet are valued over profit, people are in charge of their own bodies. Uh, we want to we want to say thank you uh, for your support over this last year. Uh, we appreciate every single shop that we are in community with and relationship with. Um, we know it's been a really hard year of pivoting and shifting and we're so glad you're still here and we're still here. Uh, always feel free to email hello at knittedwit.com. That goes to Shannon and she can answer quite a few questions or she'll bounce to me. I'm info at knittedwit.com. You can also email me as well. Um, so also we want to just acknowledge the pandemic is still going and we're gonna hold grace and compassion for ourselves and you as we're working together over this next year and we're all doing the best we can. And uh, so we're gonna do the best we can on this presentation as well. <laughs> but we're glad you're here. Uh, so I'm just gonna dive right in. I'm basically gonna go over all of the different palettes um, and things that are shipping immediately and then out further in the calendar. And all of these can be found in previous emails. Uh, we'll include it in the link with this email as we tell you about this video. And they're just handy dandy line sheets. Um, so let's get started with Palantines. That is coming up uh, February 13th. And originally it was called Galentine's Day from Parks and Rec. And we have a blog post that explains why we shifted the language to Palantines Day. That is ready to go or once your order is in, we'll get that out the door. Uh, we want those orders in as soon as possible because that holiday is coming up super swiftly. And that is the bottom row. But I'm gonna bring them up to the camera because the lighting. So let's get started with Galentine's Day. This is our original and Purples, pinks, a little bit of red, orange, lots of fun. And I'm sorry, we needed to adjust the lighting just a little bit. Uh, Be mine, hot pink into um, some more luscious burgundies. Shan, do you mind trying to pull this light back behind me and then, or in front of me? And then Distraction Waffles, which is also an adventure from Parks and Rec. We found a lot of inspiration in that <laughs> fun story or fun show. Uh, ladies Celebrating Ladies, also a discussion in Parks and Rec. And then Best Friend Day, which is Shannon Jean. This is mine and Shannon's favorite color, the purple and green. And February 23rd, which we are not celebrating National Curling Day. Uh, we think this is probably what roses look like around February 23rd, if you got them on the 14th. So some really yummy oranges and browns and a little bit of purple and yellow. So again, get those orders in for that line as soon as possible so we can get it to you in time to celebrate. Uh, something that we're gonna be doing here in the studio and just a little crafty idea for you is uh, we made uh, Valentine's last year to hand out with orders and it was really popular and they all had something that uh, was shared in our community of what you would want to hear in a Valentine's Day card and they went over super well. So there's a little idea for you. Uh, next up is Birds and Bees. We're doing this line again. It's gonna ship out the beginning of February, March, April, and May. And it'll go Birds, Bees, Flowers, and Butterflies. There are four colors each month. And in those four colors, one is a solid. Uh, we are doing that on single fingering, sport, or worsted. You'll get bags of four of the four colors. 
and I'm gonna go over those colors right now. Um, so they are the top row up here, and I'm gonna start with birds. We have the white-tailed kite, and again, my apologies about the lighting, but it's a really warm brown um, clay kind of a hard one to describe. And Northern Flicker, we have some browns and dark grays and reds and light grays. Western Bluebird, again, browns and blues and grays. And then Anna's Hummingbird, my favorite. Soft yellow into a brighter green and hot pink with some brown flecks on gray. And bees. So we have the Greenleaf Cutter Bee. Some more vibrant greens with a little dark emerald down here, some grays. And you can find images for all these pretty quick, um, easily we use different websites that have posters of like all the different bee varieties. The cuckoo bee. Browns and grays, a little bit of blue and some yellow. And my two favorites, the wool carter bee. This bee is so warm and fuzzy looking. I mean, as warm as a bee could look, I guess, but it's just really fuzzy. Really uh, yummy browns and gold tones. Again, the light. Uh, and then polyester bee, because what goes better with a wool carter bee than polyester bee? And it's just a really warm, buttery yellow. And then flowers. We have blazing star. And it's a soft pink purple. It's like wild orchid, but a little bit um, more gentle. And fireweed. And it goes from a vibrant purple up to uh, a richer pink into a light pink at the end of the skein. And wood violet. This is, if you look at a photo, the wood, um, this dark vibrant blue is at the stem and then it goes out to a very soft pink but going through a really wild purple and tiger lily a dark orange into light orange with some speckles on it and last but not least butterflies so greenish blue butterfly the photo on this one is really pretty we liked this variety a lot. So some soft blue greens into some cream and browns. The variable checker spot, again, gorgeous butterfly. Black and red with some soft yellow uh, spots on it. Some more red and yellow that's more vibrant. Uh, then we have morning cloak. Yellow, gray, blue, red, uh, not red, but like a brown red. And blue copper and it's really a soft gentle periwinkle really pretty so as you can see behind me a lot of these colors play really well together um, across the whole four month spectrum so super like that and again get that order into us so that you can get at the top of the collection so you're getting them every month from what we've heard, some feedback we've heard from shops, it's been great to have something new to look forward to for both yourself and your customers to get them in, to come in every month. Another way to expand on this idea and kind of build community around it is if you have a nursery in the area or a seed catalog you really enjoy, uh, pairing those together in either a blog post or just in your own shop and offering those things to just grow the conversation around bringing birds, bees, plants, native things into your uh, neighborhood that attract all of those yummy animals. Uh, so next up is the spring collection. We found that the fall collection was a great success for shops in bringing in a whole new line of yarn. We did the sport and we're offering it again if you need to restock, refresh with some brighter spring colors. Uh, you can also order it on any other yarn base you'd like. Uh, we have lots of pattern recommendations and we're also offering free yarn with it to create samples for your shop. And I don't know if we have a hard ship date on this one. I don't think we do, but again, honestly, the earlier the better that we know that you're interested and wanna get this. Um, oh, ships to one. <laughs> so the earlier we know the better. Um, while we do have a majority of our staff back, we are still 
subject to pandemic drama. So get those orders in about that. Uh, so the spring collection, let's go through that. Uh, we have eight solids and eight variegated. So the end of the rainbow for solids is over here. The beginning of the rainbow for solids is over here. Um, and I'll go through those real fast. You might recognize a few of these solids from our Birds and Bees collection from last spring. Uh, we have Raspberry Milkshake, really bright, cheerful pink, and Peachberry Sparkle. Um, pollen <laughs> seemed appropriate. And yes, I am saying the right G bit in my head. Uh, canopy for the green. Small Carpenter Bee, this came out last spring and it's a really beautiful uh, green teal. Again, hard to see in this light, but it's, it's a beautiful teal. Royal, a nice sharp blue. Foxglove, this was again a solid from last spring and it's a awesome blend between hot pink and purple and crow and this one is again it's gorgeous is it black is it blue is it purple yes it is all of those things so those are the eight solids and then we have eight birds and bees from last spring so we have a lot of yarn we have purple finch and again kind of a, a wine red orange red and to some soft pink and some darker gray. Red Nomad Bee. It has some beautiful oranges and some softer mauve. And then some black speckles. Passion Flower. I love seeing these bloom on the trails. So that bright green and some dark purple and then that bright pop of blue. They always seem a little too tropical for the Northwest. They're stunning. Uh, lazuli bunting. She just seems like a cheerful little bird. So it, the, it's not super showing up, but this is uh, like Turks and Caicos, aquamarine, and then a caramel and, and white. And Stellar J, some vibrant blues into a darker blue with a white top. Metallic Sweat Bee. Again, those vibrant greens into some black and gray and um, amazonite, really gorgeous yummy teal, and blue orchard bee. We have purple and blue and teal, a little bit of white. And again, those all go really well. I've taken the solids down, but they all go so well together. And with those solids, I think that you can make a lot of great um, fades and two, three color projects with those. Uh, and those, the, all those colors ship together in the collection. So those are the main things that are gonna be shipping right away that we wanted to get your attention on. Um, some things that have already started but you are welcome to join is we have Shanna Jean Club year two and we started out with a skein of, um, this was the prop I forgot to grab. <laughs> We started out with a slipper pattern as the bonus pattern. So past this one, folks still get six patterns and we have yarn to support that, of course. So it was a, a skein of Targi Erin and friendship bracelet and the postcard with a pattern information, download information, a notion and a handy dandy pouch to store it in. So that was to kick off Shanna Jean um, the second year. Folks, this is not required necessarily, but we found it was a great gift giving opportunity. And so we're shipping out our first one for February um, this coming week. And we have the colors I was gonna share with you. These are new colors. So we do two colors for every other month for every shipment. And uh, we have Moonstone, really soft, gentle colors, blending into a soft gray blue background and Labradorite some really hidden gem colors. I don't know if y'all are a fan, Moonstone and Labradorite, but they're my faves. Uh, so that's going out and um, and it's in this month is DK, the yarn base does shift 
every other month when we ship them out. So it's, it's a great way to try out different yarn bases for both you and your customers, see what they like. Uh, always two color options and email us for more information. Okay, so we are in our third year of history where we've partnered with y'all. And we've already sent out January. If you wanna go backwards and get that, highly recommend it. And then this week we're shipping out uh, February's, this coming week we're shipping out February. Um, so I was gonna show you those real fast. So the first one was lava and it was inspired by the lagoon pools in Iceland because we celebrated uh, the first woman president for Iceland. She was amazing. You can check out our blog for more information. And uh, we also have a number of shops that are doing coordinating solids. So if you want to add that to your order, just let us know. And then this coming month is persistence. And we used hydrangeas as the inspiration because that is the meaning behind the flower. And we're going to be celebrating and honoring Stacey Abrams and the work that she's done in Georgia and uh, getting voters to the polls. I will say a little note about her street. We're uh, featuring women who have made a difference in a time when we need change. And, or that's why one of the reasons why we're focusing on them is we definitely need a lot of change right now. And while we will be focusing and featuring women that have been elected to office, we're not focusing on the party that elected them. We're focusing on the changes that they've created and the possibilities they've opened up for women to come behind them. So that's her straight. I hope you can join us. And also coming up is uh, National Parks. This will be our third year, I think, doing it with shops. We have dyed every single National Park with the exception of one because it was created last week in the CARES Act. <laughs> um, so we'll definitely include that one. And there are lots of natural preserves, national historical markers, so many things to feature. So we have a list of those. And then we'll do the same program again where there's a postcard. Folks can collect stamps from you all or signatures. Uh, if you purchase four over the summer, you get a patch or the customer gets a patch. If you get all 16, there's a pin. And uh, the support that goes along with this program, I think, is where the extra added value is. First of all, parks have never been a hard sell for our customers because there's a lot of emotional attachment to specific parks. Either folks have been there or they want to go there. And it's a great postcard to collect for folks. Um, we also do blog posts for every single park discussing the history of when and how it was created, our color inspiration, the uh, indigenous groups that first inhabited the land. And all of that is on our blog and accessible for you to use and borrow and highlight. Uh, we do have a cutoff point. We haven't reached it yet, but if you're interested in it, I suggest signing up now so that you can secure your spot. And we have it in sock, DK, and worsted this year. And going back to her story, we added worsted as well. Uh, so we, it's part of our socks on vacay or stay K, and we have an Instagram hashtag that we use to help get that knit along going. We do prizes at the end, and we're also doing hats on stay K and vacay because we're adding worsted, um, which obviously you can knit a hat with any of those weights, but we're just trying to expand that so not everybody's a sock knitter, now they can play. So again, get us your name and, and how many we, do quantities of four per yarn base, a minimum of four, and then order in quantities of four. This was very popular last summer, and we definitely ran, we had to have a close off point, so get those orders in. And there's four different colors every month for a point. And there's four different colors a month over four months, so 16 colors, much like the birds and the bees. Uh, so, real fast looking way ahead, but again, we sold out, so we want to get you in on the list as soon as possible. We had a huge success, we feel like, with our attitude of gratitude. Um, to our knowledge, it's sold out. If you have any kits remaining, please let us know because we have customers looking for them. This is what we made with it, Shannon's spell shawl. And we have w plans, and it's in the works for um, next year, December 1st through the 31st. Uh, we have colors all picked out. We have all the goodies ready to go, but we need to know quantities. And so if we can get folks signed up as early as possible, it will allow us to purchase earlier, and that's super necessary in a pandemic. 
for supply chain issues. Uh, deposits are not required until the end of July, so it's not like you're committed financially, but we just need to know. Shannon, it went out. I think it's still recording. <laughs> <laughs> um, we just need to know uh, the commitment from folks so that we order enough supplies. Um, um, so something else that I'm sure you've seen in your inbox a few times is we have these handy dandy sheets with all the information. So we're also doing that for color palettes for ease of ordering for both you and our reps. And if you're not connected to rep, let me know and we'll get you connected with one. But we've gone through and made, we've made several color palettes. They have 16 colors typically. Um, and then we have three different solid ones that we cross-reference to let you know what goes with what. Um, super easy to use and sort of cuts out some guesswork because it's hard to think in a pandemic. <laughs> uh, so yeah, and we'll have more of those coming out. We just had to wrap up pho uh, photographing them and then getting them formatted. So we'll get those to you as soon as possible. And I think that is it. Oh, this was in, I wore this in the first video and it is Trilogy, I believe, from This Bird Knits. And it's our rock candy yellow. Uh, and the, my friend Sherry who knit it just happened to knit all the lighter yellow at the top and faded down. So that was, that's what it was. Uh, anyways, thank you so much for joining us. And, oh, <laughs> this was not in the notes, that's why. One more thing. <laughs> Sorry, one more thing. So this is more, like you all should do this right now if you want. This is my recommendation. I'm not even trying to sell you yarn. I'm trying to help you sell yarn in your shop. So we got sunk. <laughs> We, we, we dove headfirst into the rabbit hole of temperature blankets and Shannon and Kimberly created a really awesome PDF. We're utilizing Shannon's persistence pattern and I'm trying to grab it right now. And so it, <laughs> it has this, so there's 14 colors. So folks can color this and they can write their temperature ranges because every climate is a little bit different or where folks want to focus is different. And then you can track your, um, the date of the month, we have 12 pages for the 12 months. And so high, low, average, they can, you can write in your color choices and then color in the heart if you've actually knit the rows and got it done. So Shannon has this pattern available on Ravelry or through her website and is, one community building getting to hang out virtually uh maybe like a once a month check-in but it's such a fun knit i'm actually caught up feeling real proud of myself and i'm doing a low and a high low across high across back um and i'm doing the scarf where shannon is doing the wrap size and yeah, so if you have questions about that or need some help kind of organizing thoughts around it, we are available um, because we've had a lot of fun with it and we think your customers will as well. And it's such a great way to sell really fun rainbow colors together. Okay, I think we got it all this time. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, please ask questions, please email, and we will get back to you as soon as we can. Have a great day.